Hi, this is Peter Wright. A number of people have told me they have a bit of a problem installing plugins onto their WordPress blogs. So, I thought I would do a quick video with some screenshots of how to do it. So here we go. Depending on the version of WordPress you're using and the theme you're using, your screen might look a little different to mine but your menu will be on the left. So the first thing you do is hover over plugins and go and click on add new. You'll get the next screen which is install plugins. There's a search box. Type in, if you know the name of the plugin, type it in. If you know what sort of plugin you want to install, for instance it might be a Facebook, you could click there and you'll get a selection of 746 plugins or you can just start typing in the box. I'm looking for one called Table of Contents, which is one I've installed on a, a different blog. A very useful plugin if you want to keep a separate category of posts easily accessible. And I'll show you what it looks like. So let's take that, search plugins. That'll take us to the page of plugins that are either plugins are about table of contents or have table of contents in their name. This is the one I want here, table of contents plus. A few things to look at. Check the rating. It's got five stars, so it should be good. Have a look at the description. Make sure it, it's going to do what you want it to do. Check the author. I know that that author's done a number of plugins. And before I install it, I always look at the details. And I'll tell you why. You get the screen. And on the screen, it tells you <coughs> that this plugin is compatible up to version 3.5 of WordPress. So that's okay for the new version that I've got. It's been downloaded 10,300 times, which is great. Quite a few people are using it. And here we have a better description of what it does and what it is. If you want to see what it will look like, this doesn't apply to all plugins, but it will to this one. Have a look at screenshots. And there's a picture of what the plugin will look like in your widget once it's installed. You can install direct from there or you can go back to this page, Table of Contents Plus, and install now. It'll ask you a question, are you sure you want to install this plugin? So you will take OK. The plugin is installed, it tells us to activate it, we will activate. Now if we scroll down here, we will see Table of Contents Plus. Now we need to set the settings or configure it, so we take that. I'm not going to set this one up because I don't need it for this blog, but this is where you would do all your settings. This screen will look different for different plugins. And on some plugins you may need then to go to your widgets under Appearance in there and that will take you to the widget page where you might need to move the widget into your sidebar, decide where you want it, and then configure the widget. And that is really how you install a plugin. And I want to thank Roberta from moretimethandoe.com for reminding me that I had promised to do this. That's it. I hope you enjoy it.